hi guys, just doing um, editing an old short film, but I've been capturing some hi8, uh, sorry, no, some DV, mini DV, and this stuff is interlaced. It's that old, and you probably, if you're probably, if you're under 20, you probably haven't even really had to deal with interlace in any way really and this is what we had to do back in the days what basically what interlace a lot of this footage was before before these awesome dslrs and stuff where the like well, a progressive scan image basically it wasn't interlaced um but all these old cameras were interlaced and um it was a pain absolute pain in the ass um you could never get the footage to look good. Um, it would always have this, here I'll even show you. This is uh, this is the short I'm working on. And if you can see on, when you play back here, see these jagged edges? Especially on movie, like a lot of the moving shots. Um, now Adobe Premiere uh, does a good job at deinterlacing, but I'm in this program, this old program that uh, is now discontinued actually, but you can still download it. It's called Virtual Dub. Now this is a really cool little program that I used a lot. What I've got here is a, a this super deinterlaced image. Ignore the stretching because that's not happening. But as you can see, you can see all these like jagged, like look how horrible that looks. Anyway, that's because of the interlaced image th that these cameras recorded on. So in virtual dub, what you can do is actually do some really cool stuff. You can actually, because these are interlaced 30 frames a second interlaced or 29.97, you can technically get a really nice deinterlaced image from it but with a double frame rate, so 60 frames a second. So what you can do actually with this is you can go even further with it and you can actually, instead of using a 30 frames a second sort of like more video-y look, the, uh, the challenge back in the day was to get that 24p image, 24 frames a second, like film, right? And what you can do with virtual dub and a interlaced 30 frames or 29.97 frame rate image is you can actually convert it really well to 24 and I didn't I don't know if a lot of people did this but in virtual dub you can go to filters and the first filter here you add is deinterlace and you can go into this and it it will interpolate using the Yadif algorithm and what you want to do is double the frame rate and I'm using the bottom field first, which I think this camera used. I'm not totally sure. It still looked fine no matter what. So when you do that, it doubles the frame rate. So you now have, I have 60 frames a second because it started out at 30 interlaced. So now it's 60 frames, solid progressive scan um, frames. So now we're going to add another filter and we're going to go to, we go to interpolate. So now we want to interpolate the footage by two. So you want to scale frame rate by two. And we're going to just use nearest frame. It just duplicates it. So basically every frame now will be two frames of from, but remember we turned it to 60 frames a second. So remember we turned it to 60 frames a second. So now we're doubling it. So now it's 120 frames a second. Now we're going to cut all these frames out and get down to 24 frames. So what you're gonna to have to do is divide it by five. So we're basically taking every fifth frame of the 120. You go to video and you go to frame rate and you convert to, you decimate by five. So that should work. And if you play it back, it'll, this side here will be your sort of finished image, what it looks like. And now this isn't fake, this isn't fake 24 frames. This is actual, um, using that deinterlaced uh, or interlaced image, it now should be proper 24 frames. It's not fake or anything. And it should also be on the same, uh, it, it shouldn't have glitchy kind of frames. It should just smoothly go to 24. So we'll see how this looks.